What is going on everybody? It's Woody YouTube here and in today's video we are doing a baseball video as you can tell by the title. Um, it is how to make the baseball team. This doesn't matter if you're in middle school, high school, rec ball, travel ball, you name it, this is the video for you. So it will just be showing you how to make the baseball team. Just a few tips here and there and then a bonus tip at the end and you might want to check that out. So let's get right into it. Tip number one is to hustle. Hustle everywhere you go when you're on the field. So sprint to positions. So if they say go to short, sprint there. Don't jog, don't walk, especially don't walk. Sprint to everywhere, even right field. If you're from like third base leg out to right field, that's a far run, but you sprint there. That'll make a good impression on yourself. Even center field, even third base, sprint there. Pitcher is like the only exception, but if you're in the game, but sprint there all the time. And especially when you're, say you're coming from your car and you're walking up to the dugout or wherever this tryout is taking place, you want to jog there. Don't sprint because then you'll be like considered a tryout and don't be that tryout. Don't be coach's pet. No one likes that. Don't walk either because then they'll think you're lazy. Just a light, just light mild, just light jog. Just, don't need to go try hard. Just jog there. And uh, pretty much don't be lazy on the field. So when coach says, oh, go get that bucket, sprint there. Sprint or jog. I'd recommend sprint. Don't walk because then that's just, that's just bad. All right. So we got that covered. We're going on to tip number two. Tip number two is to pay attention. So if coach is talking, look at him. Don't be like wandering like, if coach is right at you, just don't be like, <laughs> don't be on your own world. Be engrossed in what he's saying. He is the coach, he knows what he's saying. Unless you have a few coaches that don't know what they're saying, but I'm sure you do. I'm sure your coach is phenomenal. I know, I didn't really, oh, not well. Um, pay attention and pay attention to detail too. That's key. So say a coach is doing like an example, like rounding the base. See what foot he hits it. Hint, if he's rounding first base, your right foot. Your right foot, yes. Do your right foot. Because then you got that explode, like straight line to second, beeline. Um, yeah, pay attention to detail because if he like sees something and he he knows when you're doing it right. Because when you do that right, you're going to be like, props to this guy. He pays attention. So, that's tip number two. Let's move on to tip number three. Tip number three. This is to stay calm. I know it might be hard because it's a tryout and you don't know what to expect. Maybe this guy's better than you. Maybe this guy might be a lot better than you. Anyways, just stay calm. Don't like overthrow. Don't rush things, especially like when you're fielding grab ball. Just like, <sighs> and just air mail it. Don't do that. Just just stay calm, you know. Stay true to what you do. Just field it, you know. Throw it. If you're catching a pop play, you're going to go, oh, please catch it, please catch it. Just do what you do. It's it's baseball. It's Just imagine it's like another get, It's another day at work. Just, just mind your own business. Just, just do your thing. And coach will, if you're talented, especially, do not, just stay calm. Stay calm. There's nothing to worry about. Um, if you follow this, you will make the team. I am 90% sure. Not 100, because I don't know, but 90% sure that you'll make the team if you follow all these steps. So just pay, or stay calm. Don't be nervous. Don't rush. And stay smooth. This is especially for fielders, infielders. Stay smooth. So just. Just be calm, be calm, stay smooth. Just do what you do, you know. That's it for tip number three. Let's move on to tip, tip number four. Is to play multiple positions. Say you're a shortstop and you kind of play outfield. Just say you play outfield. Don't just say you only play short because if there's a guy better than you, then you're kind of screwed and coach doesn't know like, oh, where should I put this guy? Like, is he good at hitting? If he's not good at hitting, then we're not going to put him in the lineup. But if it's outfield and pitcher and catcher and everywhere, you he will have like multiple like options like your utility for example i am i play all positions and coaches put me everywhere like uh now i'm at shortstop uh i ain't complaining but um yeah play multiple positions say you're an outfielder play pitcher and you kind of pitch you don't know though say you pitch give it a try and if you do good then you're a pitcher like don't just screw yourself over by playing one position so i say third baseman 
for example. If someone's better than you, you're not going to do anything. So, uh, play multiple positions, especially pitcher. Coaches like pitching. So, that's tip number four. Let's move on to tip number five. Tip number five is to have a good attitude. So, what do I mean by this? Like, if you make an error, don't go, oh, man, and let it haunt you for the rest of the tryout. Don't do that. Just forget about it. It's one play. It's over. It go, goes right through your legs. Don't go, don't go crying about it. I know I used to do that all the time. I used to just get it, like, I just get it in my head. But my coach, he said, just flush it. Just, um, so my old varsity coach last year, he said to... Um, if you make, if it's a bad practice, go to your toilet and actually like flush the toilet. That's all your thing. New day, new day tomorrow. So just keep that in mind, you know, flush it. You know, if you make an error, don't just forget about it. Just forget it. Like coach asks, Hey, what happened to my play? What, what play? See, he'll, he'll like that. So just don't let things get to your head easily. I know that's a problem for me and I'm working on it like right now. And yeah, just, just forget about it. And Good things will occur. That's tip number five. Let's move on to tip number six. Tip number six. This is to have good grades. Uh, this doesn't matter if you're in elementary school or middle school. This this needs to happen in high school. You have to have good good grades. I'd like a B average, like B's, straight B's. It's my little fur ball. No. So have have like a B average. That's good. Um, B average. It's good. Uh, all A's would be preferably the right thing. Get out there. All A's is nice. All C's you're kind of like, uh, but it's pretty easy to get an A and PE. So that's a free A. And colleges like good grades. That's that's the number one thing. Sports is like down here, grades is up here. School. School has to be your number one priority. Without school, baseball, if you have bad grades, baseball doesn't mean anything. You need to get those grades up. So, good grades, keep that. That's it. And we are moving on to the bonus tip. So, stay tuned. So, for the bonus tip, this is kind of odd, but I've noticed it. So, have a nice glow kind of weird I don't know if this works but I think it does so ask a teammate like a teammate that's like already made the team or something that doesn't have tryouts that day just ask him hey you have a nice A2000 don't you yeah can I borrow your glove for a tryout sure man that's I don't know why it just makes you look like cleaner like just I thought I had my glove over here man I was gonna show you that per that's pretty so just have a nice glove, you know, this isn't like the biggest bonus tip, but I know that you haven't heard that before. So just bring out with a nice glove, I'm sure like, just nice glove, just nice glove. That's for the bonus tip. If you like this video, I'd recommend hitting that subscribe button for more Fortnite and baseball videos. I'll try to be posting two baseball vids a week, one Fortnite vid a week, and one Fortnite live stream a week. And comment down in the comment section below what video I should do next. Like, maybe, like, my hitting routine, even though I've done that. You know, maybe some, like, how to have good grades while playing baseball. You know, that's, that's difficult, too. But uh, I made this video just to help you guys. Help you. Right there. So, um, hope you enjoyed this. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I post. And be the first person ever to watch my video so and that's not a good thing or not a bad thing as i should say not a good thing <laughs> what am i saying um thank you woodster i will catch you in the next video